JTV 519 K201 is a 1,4 benzothiazepine derivative that interacts with many cellular targets. It has many structural similarities to diltiazem, a CA2 plus channel blocker used for treatment of hypertension, angina pectoris and some types of arrhythmias. JTV 519 acts in the sarcoplasmic reticulum senior of cardiac myocytes by binding to and stabilizing the ryanodyne receptor RYR2 in its closed state. It can be used in the treatment of cardiac arrhythmias, heart failure, catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia CPVT, and store overload induced CA2 plus release Currently, this drug has only been tested on animals and its side effects are still unknown. As research continues, some studies have also found a dose-dependent response, where there is no improvement seen in failing hearts at 0.3 μm and a decline in response at 1 μm. Treatment with JTV 519 involves stabilization of RYR2 in its closed state, decreasing its open probability during diastole and inhibiting a Ca2 plus leak into the cell cytosol. By decreasing the intracellular Ca2 plus leak, it is able to prevent Ca2 plus sparks or increases in the resting membrane potential, which can lead to spontaneous depolarization, cardiac arrhythmias, and eventually heart failure due to the unsynchronized contraction of the atrial and ventricular compartments of the heart. When Ca2 plus sparks occur from the senior, the increase in intracellular Ca2 plus contributes to the rising membrane potential which leads to the irregular heart beat associated to cardiac arrhythmias. It can also prevent SOICR in the same manner, preventing opening of the channel due to the increase of Ca2 plus inside the senior levels beyond its threshold. Molecular problem in the closed state, N-terminal and central domains come into close contact interacting to cause a zipping of domains. This leads to conformational constraints that stabilize the channel and maintain the closed state. Most RYR2 mutations are clustered into three regions of the channel, all affecting the same domains that interact to stabilize the channel. Any of these mutations can lead to unzipping of the domains and a decrease in the energy barrier required for opening the channel, increasing its open probability. This channel unzipping allows for an increase in protein kinase A phosphorylation and calstabin II dissociation. Phosphorylation of RYR2 increases the channel's response to Ca2+, which usually binds the RYR2 to open it. If the channel become phosphorylated, this can lead to an increase in Ca2 plus sparks due to an increase in Ca2 plus sensitivity. Some researchers believe that the depletion of calstabin II from the RYR2 causes the calcium leak. The depletion of calstabin II can occur in both heart failure and CPVT. Calstabin II is a protein that stabilizes RYR2 in its closed state, preventing Ca2 plus leakage during diastole. When calstabin II is lost, the interdomain interactions of RYR2 become loose, allowing the Ca2 plus leak. However, the role of calstabin II has been controversial, as some studies have found it necessary for the effect of JTV519, whereas others have found the drug functions without the stabilizing protein. Molecular mechanism JTV519 seems to restore the stable conformation of RYR2 during the closed state. It is still controversial whether or not calstabin II is necessary for this process, however, many studies believe that JTV519 can act directly on the channel and by binding, prevents conformational changes. This stabilization of the channel decreases its open probability resulting in fewer leaks of Ca2 plus into the cytosol and fewer Ca2 plus sparks to occur. Researchers who believe that calstabin II is necessary for JTV519 effect, found that this drug may function by inducing the binding of calstabin II back to the channel or increasing calstabin II's affinity for the RYR2 and thus increasing its stability. References